welcome to day 16 and 17 of Magic with Madison's Vlogmas. off to ski today super exciting there's lots and lots of snow so um i can't wait to get going on that probably gonna be pretty windy so we'll see how that goes so here is a quick unwrapping of today's advents today we're gonna open up day 16 and 17 of the skate and the stitch and the fiber foxes advents sorry for the lack of vlogmas yesterday it was a bit of a crazy day and my vlogging did not come to fruition basically. Uh, but you'll see that the intro was a little bit of me from yesterday and a little bit of me from today. So why don't we get started on opening up advent calendars and then we can go ahead and get chatting. All right, so here is the Fiber Foxes advent day 16 and 17. And here is Skein in the Stitch, day 16 and 17. I wish 
aren't those absolutely gorgeous? Really, really love both of those colors for both advents. Really going into so many great tones and qualities of color. I love the pinks that are coming out of the Fiber Fox. I can't wait to use those. Still debating. Definitely going to finish up my um, Boxy by Hohi Locatelli using the Fiber Fox Advent, but I'm guessing I'll have some left over. Um, I don't think that it'll use up all of that Advent, but let's see where that ends up. Um, I definitely will not be finishing that one by the end of Advent, Advent uh, but we'll see how that goes, and I'll keep you guys posted in other vlogs in the future, uh, as well as podcasts. So when it comes to my Lace and Fade Boxy, which I'm using the Skein and the Stitch, advent. I'm hoping to have that finished by the 30th. I'm guessing that I'm gonna have to gift the present that I've already knit up to the person I was hoping to give this lace and fade boxy to since I'm only on that first lace panel. Um, even when I finish that first lace panel and start to join in for the sleeves, I still have quite a few bits of knitting to do on that one. So not sure how that's going to all pan out quickly enough to make it for the 24th. So let's let's keep an eye on that and I'll keep you all posted on that as we come closer to Christmas Day. I am wearing my Alpen Glow um, by Drea Renee Knits or Andrea Mowry. Uh, so I've knit up this pattern, which was the, I believe the New York Sheep and Wool, also known as Rhinebeck sweater this year. Um, and I saw Nitty Natty or Natalie from Nitty Natty had knit hers. Uh, and really, really enjoyed watching her do that process. So I ended up making one for myself. Absolutely love this yarn. Um, it's a really, really cozy, cozy, cozy knit. Uh, love the sleeve detail as well, because that really adds some coziness to your wrists. Who knew you needed wrist coziness? Other than that, let's chat some books today. So I feel like I'm gonna round out that Tamora Pierce um, train that I've been riding on during Vlogmas which includes so far day one, I believe, I talked about Sandry's book and that Cir Circle Opens series. Then I've also talked about the Atlanta series. Last, I'm going to talk about what's called the Dane series. I believe the first one is called Wild Mage. Um, and Dane's series, I believe, is called the Immortal series. Uh, it's all set in the same Tortal world as uh, the Alana series, but you get to see some of those characters you were introduced to in, in the Alana series all over again from a new light. Uh, I really love Numer and Dane's relationship in that book, or that series, a series of four books, and I just really enjoy the world, um, getting to meet some dragons at some point. You really get to see the range of magical creatures. Um, you get to see kind of some of the gods of that world as well. So that's really good fun. And you get to see a whole other empire by going to Karthak. So that really adds some dimension and depth to the Tortal universe that you hadn't really seen as much of in the Alana series. And I just really, really enjoy that one and enjoy seeing those characters all over again seeing the characters um, from the Atlanta series from another perspective. So I would really, really recommend that one. That is another one of my comfort rereads. Uh, I reread that series at least once a year, I would say, um, especially over the last few years. It was just really, really comforting, really reminded me of being younger and that the magic that is reading generally, but also fantasy literature in particular. So really enjoy that and would really recommend that. This, and underneath the mistletoe get a kiss. The rest of the year it may be hard to come by. So right now I'm gonna give it a try. Other than that, uh, as you see from the intro today, I went skiing. I did not do a great job. I went both yesterday and today. Um, had a lot of pain in my feet, which is not really normal for me. Uh, so really think I, I psyched myself out a bit and got my feet really tight and tightened my boots a little too much. And basically that led to some not great skiing. So hope, hoping again for tomorrow that that'll rectify itself. Um, I'll relax a little bit and manage to ski a little better and also just not tighten my boots as much. So lesson learned. I'm trying again tomorrow 
and hopefully that'll go well. And it's been snowing like crazy here in Canada. It started yesterday and continued on today and it's just been glorious. So it's nice to see that everything is already white. The trees are white, the ground is white, everything is white. Um, perfect look for Christmas. So I'll show you some footage of that as well, uh, as well as the mountain that I was skiing on. And I hope you enjoy that. Other than that, I hope you've had a great day. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've read the Immortal series by Tamora Pierce as well. I know there's some Tortal fans out there who have been watching. And other than that, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great one. Bye.